Greetings viewers, today we're taking a look at the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. What this is, is it's basically a giant archive of a bunch of web pages on the internet. You can see here 430 billion web pages saved over time. So if you want to check to see if your favorite web page has been archived, it's pretty simple to use. All you do is put a URL into this bar here. So let's check out, let's go with Yahoo. And then if we hit browse history, we're taken to the archive of yahoo.com. You'd see it's been saved 35,000 times between 1996 and today. So if we go to here, this is basically gonna take us to what it looks like today. So I'll go to today's date. So this is basically the Yahoo of today and You'll see here, so if I go back to right here where the captures are, if I click back on that, go back to the timeline, go back to 1996, and October 17th was the first snapshot they have, so let's check that out, see what Yahoo used to look like back in the day. And there you go, it's pretty basic looking. Back, back then, not many people had broadband, so most web pages were pretty much just text and a few photos if you were lucky so huge difference between then and today so this Wayback Machine is pretty cool I enjoy checking out web pages that I like to visit and seeing what they used to look like one of the other pages I like is IGN.com we'll go if you search for it from here instead of going to the Wayback homepage uh, it should take you to the most current one or the most current snapshot they have so you see this is what IGN looks like today and then if we go back to the captures that will take us to the timeline archive and the earliest one they have for here is December 3rd 1998 so let's check out IGN from 1998 and man that is a huge difference <laughs> Virtua Fighter RPG that's awesome so this is, a, this is a fun little tool just to kind of take a look at the history of the internet and see where web pages used to be, what they looked like, and just look at what sort of content was, you know, out there back then, back in the day. So it's, it's a fun tool to use. I enjoy using it. It's a nice time vortex. You can definitely spend a lot of time just hunting for websites that you frequently visit and then just seeing what they used to look like. Uh, I'll go... I'll check one more. Go to YouTube.com. That'll be kind of meta since this is a YouTube video. We'll hit go. And again, searching for it from this bar here usually takes you to the most current version of that page. So here we have the YouTube of today. You see a very minimalist look, very image heavy. And this is a 1080p display and you can see it fills out most of the display but if we go to again the captures and we'll see if we go back to I'm gonna go to 2007 for this one 2007 is kind of when I started using YouTube a lot uh, I joined in 06 but I didn't really start using it until 07 so let's go to January 3rd of 07 and you can see definitely a huge difference from the YouTube of today everything's kind of smushed in the middle because there wasn't really 1080p displays back in the day so again this is the Wayback Machine from the Internet Archive I will put a link to this in the video description down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, enjoy getting sucked into the Wayback Machine and checking all your old web pages and seeing what, or your favorite web pages and seeing what they look like today and back in the day. So enjoy and take care.